Centro is a media logistics company that essentially helps clients that need to build media plans, just helping them build the most efficient plan that works within their budget and helps them meet their media objectives. So the way I describe Centro to people is that we are a media company, um, digital media company, but we also build the software that our media company runs off of. So we're not a software company, we're not a media company, we're both. And a lot of the problems that we encounter as a media company, we have the ability to solve in-house. You know, in this organization, it's very different. I will be able to, you know, as a manager on the marketing team, I'll be able to have even one-on-one -on -one time with our CEO or our senior vice president of sales. Well, within other organizations, a lot of the time that's not the case. You're just working with the manager who's above you. They really allow you to set aside time for your personal growth um, by setting our, we call them PDGs, which are personal development goals. And uh, we set a personal goal as well as a professional goal every quarter, and we, we try and hit those goals. My favorite part of working at Centro is definitely my work environment. Um, I love the people that I work with. They're really passionate about what they do. The biggest difference between working here and any other place that I've worked is that they just really care about their employees and their well-being, you know. They want us to be healthy, they want us to be happy, they want us to have lives and constantly grow and learn. We spend probably as a percentage of our revenue a lot more than companies do in education and training and, and retraining and trying to just make sure that we are always moving that forward. Every departmental manager sends me a report every two weeks on what's going on in the department. I kept looking at it and I just go, why, doesn't, why don't I just share this with the whole company? So, you know, a year ago we just decided and now we share every management report with everyone so anybody in the company can read it. That's a really risky thing to do because anyone could just take that email and like forward it to the competition or like forward it to a friend or who knows what someone could do with it. All it takes is one person. But the reward of everyone knowing what's going on at Centro and having dialogue around it is way greater than competition getting their hands on that email. When I started Centro, my whole goal was the belief that if I built a great culture and a great environment that focused on creating happiness in my employees, that would then translate them to doing great work and helping the company be successful. And so the first thing that I did was sit down and wrote a document that I ended up calling the Corporate Manifesto. If you just say the culture is gonna be like this, it'll either be manufactured or it'll never be like that. But he was like, hey, let, let's hire good people who like to have fun and work together and collaborate and it'll naturally happen. And the other side of it, he had this vision of how he wanted to change an industry. I feel like there's an amazing sense of autonomy, like the moment that you get to Centro, um, in terms of people being, uh, being empowered to do work on their own and really just like go out there and, and do what you need to do. My boss always laughs at me because we always joke about this story. I, I asked her what time I could go to lunch one day and she just laughed at me. <laughs> it was like, you don't need to ask to go to lunch if you're hungry, go get some lunch and you know, <laughs> come back when you're ready. Um, I would tell my friends that they should work at Centro because first of all, it is just such a good atmosphere to work in. Um, every day coming to work, you know, I've never dreaded a day coming to work here. Um, and if you did, you can use a Ferris Bueller day and call in that morning and take the day off. You should expect to get out of what you put into it. So it's not a nine to five. I'm very upfront about that. Not a nine to five job, even though that's what your hours say. But if you've got a lot of work to do, you come in an hour early and stay an hour late. If you know you're gonna be gone um, half a day on Friday to go to, or go on a vacation or go to a wedding or something, everyone's so supportive of that. And everyone just knows you're gonna get your work done you know, and, and never leave a team hanging. Eccentric, uh, goofy, childlike. I will actually say, you know, 10, going into 11 years into it, that our culture is as good today as it's probably ever been. Collaborative. Very quirky, very fun. Did I say eccentric? I think there is a universal, like, passion for the company and for Centro. And everyone does a little bit more than they're supposed to. Everyone does a little bit of someone else's job and it's okay. Centro stands for culture. 
and community. It's really made up of the passion of everybody that works here, and that makes it what it is. When you sit and think about where we can take this company, don't let any barriers be put around that. In other words, just think big, and once you figure out what thinking big means, then think bigger, because that's where we're gonna go. And so, I'm really just trying to help us think as big as we possibly can, because there's not a limit to where we can take things. Thank you.